Hello, all you beautiful people! Introduced in Minecraft 1.19, or the Wild Update, the beautiful people at Mojang gave us a brand new stronghold-like structure to go explore. This new structure is called an Ancient City, and is the home of my new best friend, the Warden! I hate this being with every molecule in my existence. If you're curious about how to find this Temple Run ripoff, and how to steal every single item from it, then you are in the right place. Today, I'm going to be telling you all about the ancient city, so that you can tackle one with pure confidence and steal all of the belongings of those who lived there prior. To begin, let's talk about ancient cities a little bit. Ancient cities can only be found in the new biome underground in the caves, the deep diarrhea, I mean the deep dark, and can only spawn on level Y-52. So if you're dedicated enough, you can strip mine on that level until you find one. But for your own sanity, please don't do that. Your best bet is to run around caves and hope you get lucky. It's possible you could find multiple ancient cities beside one another, but I wouldn't count on it. The ancient city is a big structure in an open area, and no mobs spawn in this area. So the only thing you'll have to worry about is this bald bimbo. We'll mention later how to avoid or escape this guy, as fighting him is about as effective as boxing Mike Tyson with only one leg. Some key places to note in the ancient cities are the central hub, where there was a secret room underneath that teaches you about redstone. And that's about it, really. I guess the people of the ancient city didn't have access to Google yet. Behind a trap door, there's a room with ice surrounding you and more ice stored in a chest. Um, okay. And some watchtowers that can have some chests at the top. You may notice some pathways in the ancient city have wool on the floor, and we'll once again get to that in a minute. Some of the goodies you can find in ancient cities are echo shards, which are used to make a recovery compass. This compass will show you where you last died, so it's helpful if you're bad. You can also find pieces for a new CD in the game called Five. Get nine of these pieces, and you can play this banger at your wedding. Or maybe not. You can also find leggings with a new enchantment called Swift Sneak that'll help you tremendously when invading. None of this really matters to be honest, as you can find enchanted gold apples if you're lucky enough. With all that being said, let's get into how to gain riches from these cities. I'd recommend bringing an elytra with fireworks for quick escapes from the warden, lots of wool, and night vision as necessities. You could also bring milk for the darkness effect, and a bed for setting your spawn point. Going through the ancient city, you'll want to try to crouch around as much as possible. Because these screaming baby blocks really don't like hearing things from people who touch grass. You can use the wool, as mentioned earlier, to block skulk shriekers, as wool blocks the sound produced from your player. It's also a good safety precaution to surround the chests you loot, as this can aggravate them as well. While roaming, if you happen to wake up the old man from his slumber, do not fear. You'll want to use your elytra and fireworks to make a quick escape far away from him until he despawns. Or just use your sharpness 1000 sword. Overall, the key to looting the ancient cities is just to be patient. And a coward. But don't worry, I won't judge you for it. Well, that's everything you need to know about ancient cities in Minecraft 1.19. If you enjoyed, remember to hit subscribe. Look, less than 2% of my viewers are subscribed. Don't disappoint that handsome face. Man, what am I doing? <laughs>